What's up guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to correctly save the DSS blobs for the iPhone 6S Plus, 6S, SE and 7. Why is this different? I'm going to explain in a couple of seconds, but keep in mind that it is different if you are using an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6S. So uh, let me explain better. Uh, if you didn't see this video that I posted 13 or 14 hours ago, you should go ahead and watch this first in order to understand why we saved the iOS 10.2.1 blobs and why is iOS 10.3 important for downgrading back to 10.2. And then in that video I show you how to, um, how to save the blobs, but the method that I'm showing you in that video cannot be used for an iPhone uh, 6S, 6S Plus or an iPhone SE or 7, because these devices require you to specify the board code. And if you're going to try that method that I'm showing in the video on your iPhone SE or an iPhone uh, 6S, you're going to get an error telling you that the iOS 10.2.1 is not signed or you need to specify the board code. It's not true, in fact it is signed and I'm going to show you what's the problem. We're going to exclude the 32-bit uh, devices, so we're not going to talk about these. We're going to, or these, we're going to talk about iPhone uh, 5S and up. Now iPhone 5S does have two different board codes. iPhone 6 and 6 Plus doesn't. Well, if you are saving for an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or an iPhone 5S, it's pretty simple. You can use that method that I presented in the video from uh, 14 hours ago. But as you can see, the iPhone 5S has N51 AP and N53 AP. But the iPhone 5S has two different iterations. The iPhone 5S is uh, iPhone 6 point one and six point two when you specify six point one it will represent one of these and when you specify uh, six point two it will represent represent the other and the applications know that so there wouldn't be a problem you don't need to specify these but if you're talking about an iPhone uh, 6s or an iPhone SE or 6s plus that is only one device sorry uh, only on these is only one device. For example, iPhone uh, 6S is iPhone 8.1 and it's not 8.1 and 8.2. 8.2 is already iPhone 6S Plus. So the same iPhone 8.1 can either be N71 AP and N71 MAP. So in order for the application to understand which of the device you have, you need to specify the board code of it. If you do not specify the correct board code, for example, your device it's N71 AP and you specify N71 N71 MAP, then the blob will not be usable for your device. You will save a correct blob but not for your device and that blob will be useless and you will not be able to downgrade with it. So it's very important if you have an iPhone uh, 6S, 6S Plus, SE or 7 to specify the correct uh, board code in here. How you get this board code, how you know whether it's uh, N71 AP or N71 MAP or any of these. Well, at first you should know that the iPhone, um, these iPhones from here, this range, can have a uh, microchip inside from either TSMC or Samsung, and this board code will be different according to that. Now, you shouldn't be able to, um, to know which of the uh, CPUs you have inside the device, but there is an application for that. So, um, going in iTunes Store, or of course on the App Store, if you search for AX CPU System Plus Processor Profiler created by David Caddy, you will find this free, simple application. There are a lot of them, you can try any of the uh, other apps, but I recommend you this one because it's pretty straightforward and free. And you can see it shows the device type, in this case in the image is an iPhone um, 6S Plus, the type being iPhone 8.2, but also the CPU, manufacturer and model. What you're interested in is the manufacturer, in this case is TSMC, so the model will be N66 MAP. The TSMC adds this little M on the board code. The model is the board code you need. You copy that and then you go ahead and save your blob using that thing in order to make sure you're saving it for your device. Now you can use TSS uh, checker and specify board code, but that, that's going to mean fiddling with commands that are hard to understand. You can go ahead on tsssaver.onecanon.com, which is easier and faster. It's pretty simple, but first you need to go ahead on iTunes and get your ACID for your device. I don't have an iPhone um, 6S, so I'm going to use the ACID of an uh, iPod Touch, but do not do that. It 
it needs to be your ACID. I'm just using another one because I don't have the device and I need to demonstrate this somehow. But you need to make sure it's your ACID and it's correct. So paste your ACID in here. And then if you select iPhone and it's going to be six, you're not going to be asked about any board code because you don't have to specify any on the iPhone uh, 5S as well. If you go on iPhone SE, then you need to specify a board code. On iPhone 7, you don't. On 7 Plus, sorry, and 7. But on the iPhone uh, 6S and 6S Plus, again, you need internal name, model, or board configuration. And here you're going to write, in, your, in my case, I'm going to write N71AP, which means an iPhone uh, 6S with Samsung chip but you're going to write whatever it shows you in the application. Either way, the blue will be invalid. And then you save it. You click submit and you will be good to go. So this is basically why you cannot save them with the normal configuration with iPhone 8.1 and you need to specify that correct thing and you click download zip and get your blobs. Well, that's because normally the, uh, the tutorial is made for the devices that don't have two different uh, chips inside. Uh, well, cannot have two different chips. So um, that being iPod Touch, 6th generation, iPhone uh, SE, sorry, iPhone 7, iPhone um, 5S, iPhone 6 and so on. But if you're unlucky and you have the iPhone uh, 6S or 6S Plus or SE, you need to specify that board code, which means a little bit of fiddling. I really hope you understood this video and I really hope you understood why it's important to specify correctly that board code. And if you didn't save your, uh, your blobs correctly, go ahead and save them now while you still can. So um, make sure you follow up the uh, previous video as well. Do not save the blobs using the tutorial from it, but pay attention to the other information presented. Until the next time, I'm Geo Snow. Subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up, and I'm going to catch you up in the next video. Peace out.